if he can't stand the Man heat. can go outside now and be fornicating all over the globe. Opening is really everywhere to everybody to see. Do you know the amount of STD that you can just cut? That's what's doing me. I can't even open my leg anywhere because honestly, this place is disgusting. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I need to leave. Hi guys and welcome back to If You Can't Stand The Eat. My name is Grace Agilore and why did I do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, the fly baby, the fly princess, the fly Af uh, African princess, the damsel, the cheeky, the sexy, the gorgeous, you know, the amazing damsel. And um, <laughs> I'm here to stay and to be your delight. Okay. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn, get something that will ginger you, get something that will, that will, that will love you, get something that you'll be snacking, get something that you'll be eating, get something that is sexy, you know, I love you. <laughs> I'm a sweetheart, you know, I'm the blueprint, get me, all the other people's my sons, period. Oh so yeah, get to know, if you don't know, get to know, if you don't know, get to know, if you don't know, get to know. I've been an influencer for a long time, like, I've been the... I said the comedic, the comedic African princess online for over maybe eight or nine years. But yeah, we're here in it. You get me? We're here in it. Like, you get me? I mean, things has happened, didn't it? But we're here in it. The topics are endless. Yesterday, I asked you guys, give me some, you know, things to talk about on the on uh, today's show. It just I have I have nothing to say to you other than y'all are crazy. You guys are really crazy, but I love it here. <laughs> to tell if a man is gay. How do you what is that? Wait, that's a good question to ask a guy, actually. I don't know. There's a lot of things that guys do in secret. That's all I'll say. Something else going on. <laughs> Not playing any FIFA. <laughs> They're kissing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> would you would you recommend going out with someone who has kids? Like, is it really a no no? Hmm? Everybody, open your ear and come closer to me. Come closer to me. Let me give you the hot cake for this, right? Especially the single girls, come here now and listen to me. Okay. If you are a single babe, do you understand? You've got your life together. On having a nice job. Your life is flavor, everything is making sense, your life is flourishing, you're happy. You still have somewhere to go, but you are doing okay. You are doing very, very good. The next step for you is not to go and pick somebody that has kids. I'll be honest. Somebody say praise God. If you know you love yourself, don't do that. You still have an opportunity to build your life. You still have the opportunity to have a husband that doesn't have any kids, that doesn't have any baggage. Praise God. You All you have to do now is to go and look for a single king. They are still there. I don't know why single girls like to do that rubbish. I don't know why we like to do that. Go to somebody whose life is very, very okay. They don't have any children. They don't have any baggage. They are working in all those big, big tower, uh, um, Canary Wharf and blah, blah, blah. Focus as a place, as a nice apartment. It doesn't have to be billionaire. Cool down. I know I'll be saying that a lot, but I'll be saying that in like... <laughs> I'll be saying that in a past and go comment. You get me? I'm not really trying to be forcing you lot to be like, oh, it has to be a bit... No. That's what I said I want for myself. I mean, if that's what I want for myself, praise God, join the, join the club. But... You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. Especially if you're like in your 20s, late, you know, early 20s, that type of babe is okay. Just find yourself a guy that is, that is just uh, doing things the right way. Calm, cool, collective. Do you understand? But with the baby mom drama, why do that to yourself? You're selling yourself short by doing that. Why put yourself into a situation that doesn't concern you? I don't know why girls do that. And they're always very nice, sexy babes. Very nice, cute girls. Very secure, fine, organized. You know, have their own business. They always start picking guys that have their children. And like, they don't look after their kids. They're horrible to their baby moms. Like, it's all 
you don't need to be there. All right. So the answer is to that question. If you're a single girl, do I recommend you to date somebody that has kids? And my answer is no. Don't do it if you are single and you don't have anything I beg like I mean some some of these things do happen and stuff but it's just it like there's no point there's no point like there's just the not being the drama of it I'm sure there's other baby mothers that you know they obsessed over their baby fathers and that I like I've, I can't relate it's dead I just wanted to tell you it's dead be single enjoy getting to know various different people and enjoy the freedom that's my own if you like take it if you like don't take it praise God Anyway, let me move on to the next question. Oh my God, Hush Puppy. I just keep seeing things of him everywhere. Hush Puppy, Hush Puppy, 11 years. Anyway, it's as well. <laughs> Do women only respect a man with money? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm joking. No, there's a lot of us. Well, excuse me, us. Who's the us? <laughs> Who is the us? There's a, there's a lot of women that don't care. There's a lot of women that actually don't care. I wanted love so bad. When you really, really love, like you're a loving person, you want to love, 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 and then you don't use your brain. If I used to, anyway, let me not even go too far. <laughs> it's when you're looking for love that you say stuff like this, like, oh, I don't care if he doesn't have money. Listen, when you start having families and all of that, and you guys have expenses, I don't know whether you're going to use your teeth to pay. I don't know whether you're going to use your nose to pay the bills. I will respect a man who has money that will be able to look after his family. I respect you. I respect you. Not saying though, there are men that obviously have money that they'll be throwing money at you and they'll still beating you on the weekend. I understand that one. But I'm not talking about those ones. I'm just saying that I women generally will respect you if you look after your family. That's it. We're not even saying, go and buy us a uh, AP. Although I would like one. <laughs> We're not even say AP, all of those types of things. But, you know, I'm going to respect you when you're looking after my child. I'm going to respect you when you're looking after your household. I'm going to respect you when I see you looking after your mother, looking after your siblings. I'm going to respect you. Yeah? As opposed to, ah, sorry, I don't have any money today. I can't help you. Everybody's just Brooklyn everywhere. Everyone is just broke. Please save it. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I'm a different type. I'm a, I'm I'm honest. You get me. I'm a respect you, and I'm gonna say the same to my to my son. Get your get your. You have to get your money up. You have to work hard. To be a man is not easy. To to be able to pay, you know, and 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 build a family is not easy. Is is not easy at all, and it's expensive. That to run my own household and it's just me and my son. You don't understand the finances I spend. It's insane. I even then now want to go and get garden. Ah, oh, Jesus. You know, the other day, uh, a fox came into my backyard and it dragged a black bag round the corner. Can I confess to you? Can I confess to you? It's still there. <laughs> Do you know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping that the rain will just wash everything <laughs> No, I spoke to my neighbor and then my neighbor was like, I'm going to speak to my husband and my husband will come in and what do you call it? Will try and come in to try and help you. The days I've been going, nobody's I can't go to the black bag. I, I, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I can't do it. I can't do it. But yeah, to do the garden, to be cleaning up the garden, uh, you don't know all of these things in the, is, is jarring to look after you, a garden. Do you know how expensive to look after the garden is? <laughs> Please. Please, it's actually well. It is well. I had a lot of questions about single parenting. And... Uh, I just... I just... <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to say all of this without offending someone because if I offend, if I say stuff like my truth, it sounds like I'm bitter and it sounds like I'm being evil or it sounds like I'm being disrespectful to my son's dad. But I'm parenting, I've always parented alone. It's my responsibility as a woman. If he was not there, if his dad is dead, God forbid, it would be my responsibility to do that. So I've never really felt the need to go and be digging to look for this person to find him to come and 
look after my child. I've never, ever felt the need to do that. Because my son is my child. That's my responsibility. I feel like, And I feel like my life always flourishes because of how much I put into my child. I really, really believe that. You look after your child every single day, you know, and you do it selflessly. And you do it with abundance of love. You, do, you, you don't know the way the blessings just start slapping you from left to right. That's how I believe it. That's how I believe. And the karma doesn't just, it, it might not just come today. Karma comes at any time. There's sometimes where things ain't going right and I'm just like, you know what, that's my karma and maybe I did something bad. There's always a reason. There's always a reason. So, you know, um, parenting has been really amazing for me. Like I have, I, it's been my calling to be a mom. I'm always supposed to be a mom. It was so easy. I slipped into that role very easily, seamlessly. At, I'm at a great age. So the age I'm at is not like I'm too young or I'm too old. I, I was really, I really picked the best time to do it. So parenthood, ah, there's not too much. My son is, my son is two and a half now. Is he love, um, oh my gosh, Blippi's got my, my son on hold, bruv. It must, Blippi, man like Blippi's got my son in a chokehold. Oh my God, Blippi everywhere in the house. Cars, he's obsessed with cars. Everywhere, big cars, small cars, medium cars, brasses, trucks, everything. <laughs> everything is everywhere. He's obsessed with cars. He has to speak and, you know, talk to you and try and vibe with you and try and like... He, if you go into a shop, he has to say hi to everyone. He's not okay. <laughs> if you walk by him and don't, and don't say hi to him, honestly, he will keep going. And my mom also told me the other day, she's like, sometimes people tell me that when, when I take the right out to like the park or something and he tries to say hi to someone and they try to ignore my grandson, she said, how dear? She said, you can't hear my son. My grandson is saying good morning to you. <laughs> She forces people to reply him because he will he will be like moaning to everyone. Like he's such a breath of fresh air. Like to bring him onto the show one day. Hopefully, I pray, even if it's for an hour, to just like mingle with us for a bit because he's a vibe. Like, are you still with your baby daddy? No. I've not been in a relationship. You know, it's been like three years now. I've not been in a relationship. I've not even used my lips to kiss anybody. I can't do it. Like, I just, I don't know. He has to breathe. He has to be someone so freaking sexy and fine. He has to be someone sure of himself, confident. I don't like comfort. I don't like it when a man's not confident, you know. I've had a lot of, like, corner to the corner. Like, they will, they will use my friend to come and give me, like, excuse me. What do you mean? If you like somebody, you go to them directly. Say, baby girl, whether she says no or yes, go with confidence. That's all you need. It's straight confidence. And then everything shall snap into place. Whether she's for you or not, that's a prerogative. But if you give her the, you know what I'm saying, hi, babe, it's like, like, come here, give me a kiss. <laughs> You gotta be on that energy. You gotta be. I need some energy, and I feel like people are generally quite nervous around me. It's the boring. I don't need some boringness. I need some energy, some vim, some. You know, I'd like to produce this with your team, graceagilore at gmail dot com. It would be nice to hear from you. Not dirty animals that borrow money from you and have the attitude when it's time to pay back. Are you dumb? I'll pay you back tomorrow. I'll pay you back this If you know you ain't going to pay them, I just say I'm not paying any money. I do have grace. Honestly, just give me the, dash me the money. Please, I beg. Then I'll tell you I'm broke. You have to start telling me, like, I'm broke. How can you take money and then you on top of it, you have the audacity have the audacity to then go and use the money to go and blow it somewhere. You see them going out and in, in doing clubbing and raving or they're going on holiday. I've seen someone who done that to me before, you know. The man went on holiday with my money. How dare you? How dare you? Where is the money? Where is the money? And it's usually the guys. I'm not going to lie. The guys are a disgrace. You guys, you guys be disgraceful out here chopping money, collecting money, and don't want to give the money back. You are just pathetic. You're actually pathetic. It's a mess. I don't know how they do it because I couldn't be dropped dead. Even me to ask for something like this, my whole mouth, my whole mouth wants to feels like it's just going to collapse because I don't know how to ask people for anything. You can ask for big, big money. The simple, give the money back. You don't know how to give the money back. From now on, anyway, I'm broke. Me, Lowell, I don't have any money to give anybody because the way people be acting here yeah, and going on holiday, going out, using my money to 
wine and dine a babe. Are you stupid? Jollof versus Puff Puff. Oh my days. The best Puff Puff that I ever had here was in Dubai. I'm not lying to you. One big ice cream on the side. They put the ice cream on the side. I almost went to Avon. <laughs> I almost went to Avon. The way they decorated everything. I've never seen that puff off in my life. I need to look for it. I need to show you guys. I swear, it's always made me want to go back to Dubai just for that. Because, yo, who, who brought that, that store into, put into the public like that? I need to go make that at home. I do, no, I need to make that puff off and ice cream. Are you mad? <laughs> Why is your child so gorgeous? We want the secret. I mean... <laughs> <sighs> the core of it is that I was so in love. Like, me and my son's dad were so in love when we made Zarai. So I think that that generally was, is why he is the way he is. And that, that part of it never shocked me. Because when he was made, babes, man was doing... I was doing gymnastics, fam. And I was doing gymnastics abroad. I wasn't even here. I was never in London. You make things out of love and then you end up, they end up doing something. Unfortunately, unfortunately, utishele, utishele. You know, I don't hold any grudges though. I'm so, such a warm baby. I'm such a warm girl. You know, I forgive, but when I forgive, I forget. And I don't just... I don't forget the situation, but I forget about you. Like, I forget that you ever existed. Like, I know how to do that, which is quite scary. But I have no hate in my heart. I actually have no hate in my heart, but... And I wish everyone well. Like, you know, that's people make mistakes and whatever, whatever. But yeah, you can make this mistake over there. Someone said financial advice for the young baddies that want to be independent. Okay, so there's a lot of things I did when I was younger, yeah like when it came to my finances that didn't make sense I'll be so real <laughs> there was a lot of things that didn't make sense I mean I didn't take it as far as some people that I know but and I mean by like you know when you just get gassed and you just like blow all your student finance you don't go and blow everything you blow everything blow everything every time it comes you blow it I feel like you just need to save every... You know, I, if you followed me on Snapchat for a really long time, you will know that I'm actually a very good saver. I used to save, like, boxes and boxes of £20 notes. You should give it a try. Just open it. And I like to see it, because if you see it, don't get don't get a mint... Don't get, don't get a, um, a piggy bank that is closed and you can't see it. Open it. I used to cut the head off, like, an Evian bottle. And I used to just dash £20 in there. Seeing it made me feel like I was rich. Seeing it, you used to make me feel like, nah, nah, you, you've got bread. <laughs> you just have to start saving little by little. And it's hard, like, in this economy, everywhere everything is tight. You know, you don't have to try. The effort is what's going to help, you know, is what's going to help you at the end of the day. Should you stay with a man after a baby? Well, we all know, we all know what I think about that. Understand why somebody would stay with a baby dad because of the children you know for me i think it's the opposite i feel like you are setting your children short there's a many of there's many 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 abusive abusive situations that are going on right now you're doing your children more damage than for you to if you had just left because then they grow up and then they end up going into another you know situation they grow up and they start to um, 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 treat women the way that they've seen from home or they can be like this scrappy we are that you know you're just you, you'll be you'll be looking at a whole grown man crying like a whole grown man is crying because of the way he's been you know he's been brought up that his mum's treated him however however and it might not be as serious as scrappies where your mum you know grew you in a trap house you know you you couldn't sleep in the in your bed you were sleeping with your mom because she's a pimp like it might not be that extreme could be i know in especially in african households i know beating is a very common thing you're beating the mom you're beating the children you know alcoholic where your alcohol use, using alcohol, and then you, you know by the time you get home, you're wasted. You're slapping up the children. It could even be the mum as well. The mum could be abusive, shouting. She's not happy. 
you know, there's a lot of mums that are like that as well. I used to go into my friend's house and before the door was like, okay, no, 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 like, whoa. It's like, it's always been a lot of um, abuse, you know? There's a lot of abuse that goes on in households. I feel like you're doing your children worse off. And also the cheating thing as well. This man can go outside now and be fornicating all over the globe. Opening is really everywhere to everybody to see. Do you know the amount of STD that you can just cut? That's what's doing me. I can't even open my leg anywhere because honestly, this place is disgusting. Please, oh, everywhere is just disgusting now. Like you, everyone, every man is cheating. Every man is cheating, and women are making it seem like it's okay. So they will go out, they will go and cheat, they will come back, they will now use their herpes lips. To come and kiss your, your 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 innocent children, I feel like it does worse off. The more you stay there, the more damaged that child will be. The more the more confused and 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 the mentals is never okay with children that are in houses that are just full of abuse. You know, women they don't want to. They feel like they can't go anywhere. They feel like they can't be alone. Listen, there's more to life than a man. There's more more to life. People don't see it, but there's more to life. Yeah, I'm going to die. I'm going to break. If it's not in the end of my life, I'm going to tear. I'm going to... I can't breathe without you. How? How can you not breathe without a man? I don't understand. Obviously, when my own cheating situation happened, I was uh, very depressed. I was very, very, very depressed about it. But, you know, you'd spend three months, you upset. You get out, you open your, your life up. You try and gain your life back. You try and lift yourself up. It's not easy. It's not an easy thing. And I will tell you, I'll be the first to tell you, because this is coming from someone who is very strong within herself and she knows who she is. It's very difficult. But you need to do, especially if you love your children, you never sit down with rubbish. I love my son so bad. I cannot bring him around such rubbish where that a house is peaceful. The only voice that you hear shouting in my house is my son. Use your brain. Use your brain. If he's cheated once on you, he's going to cheat again. No? Whether he cheats in one year, two years, or two months, he's going to cheat again. And a lot of the time, if... And can I just say something? Can I just say something? If you know you're not going to leave a man, let that man cheat in peace. If you know you're not going to leave that guy, you're not going to leave that man and you're going to sit down there and be a statue and you're going to accept him for, please let the man cheat in peace. You just sit down there and he's doing it. Then you now come to cry. Oh, Grace, I don't know what to do. I don't know. He's been cheating on me since last. Why are you still there then? If you know you don't have the power within you to leave, just close your mouth, sit down there and allow him to cheat in peace. Because since you're accepting it, you make it seem it's okay. He's still going to go out and do it. He knows that you're okay with it. Oh, she's cool with it. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> Home. And then come in the bed. And then now come in there and pinching your breast and pinching your breast. And you too, you say, oh, baby, I love you. You're mad. You need to start changing some th certain things because it's not, it's not making sense and it's not cute. Like, why do you want that for your life? Like, there's more to life rather be single and be alone for a long period of time than spend time with someone who constantly cheats on me and dis and and completely disrespects my love and disrespects me and my child and everything we've built together there's no way you can take your nonsense and get out take your dirty filthy dirty stinking body and your dirty willy and get the fuck Okay, so back to the era. I think this is really about Erica today, Erica Mena, because she's really given me a lot of things to talk about today. But in the conversion, $4,000, which will probably be around $3,400 a month. Mind you, I saw everyone in the comments, everybody is talking, ah, but how can she, how can she be asking for that? How can she be asking for more than that? She's got two children. First of all, you guys need to understand that we are not all in the same tax brackets. Okay. Some of you renting for a thousand pounds a month or renting for, you know, renting a place that costs 800 pounds for one bedroom. Yes, that's within your tax bracket that you would see that as a lot of money. Somebody who has a mansion that's paying 10, time, 10 times more than that place, 3,400 is chicken change. Even for me, <laughs> even for me, that does not cover my monthly bills. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. 
3,400 is going to be wiped away in one second. What? 3,000. It would be nice to have an additional. Yeah. What is she buying? That, um... What what is she trying to buy with the money that he shouldn't be using it to pay for the rent? Can I say something? Where are the children staying? If the children were living alone, would you not have to pay rent for them? Oh, so what do you mean that she shouldn't be getting money for rent? The children are staying with her 24-7. They're not staying with you. You should be paying half of that rent. It's going to it's going to nursery. So we're now looking for the best nursery in the end. Then you have to pay your um, administration fees. <laughs> before my, sta- my son starts, he'll probably pay about two five before he starts. Are you crazy? A month, 1,500 a month for only maybe like two, three days out of the week. Are you crazy? Remove that. Mm? And she doesn't have one, but to me, I'm, that's just one child. Two children. Nah, you guys gotta, you guys gotta allow it. Let me not lie. That 3K4, if somebody... Yes, I will take it. <laughs> I will take it because it will go to, you know, one or two things. But I feel like as a man, though, you got two children that are under two. Like, that's your responsibility. You were supposed to be there looking after her children in the first place, right? So why is it all now? It's changed. And a lot of it has to do with... People don't understand, yet yeah, that a lot of situations happen when... Um, one person, especially the female, if the female is earning more than the man, that's when you really start to see problems. And the problem is, is that you don't see them when you're in love. You don't see these problems. You're just like, oh, it's fine, oh, it's fine, I'm in love. But then after a while, as time starts to go on, it starts to get draining. Oh, it starts to get draining. When you're the one picking up the bills every day, it's tiring. Erica is probably the one, well, she's not probably the one, she is the one earning the most. So because she's earning the most, and I said to her, oh yeah, just pay 3 k four. Are you mad? Even me, I will cry because you got a mansion, you got a house, you guys put this house together. Now, all of a sudden, they have to now go and downgrade <laughs> the house. They have to downgrade the school, they have to downgrade. Ah, women are trying. He constantly needs different things. He needs different, you need to buy certain things. Like it's just, and every, every day is an expense. With a child, every day is an expense because they're growing and there's different things that they need. And there's different, you know, there's just, it's just a lot. Free care, you can't put a number really on what, on childcare. You really can't, especially if you want your child to go to a good school, um, if you're someone in the public eye like me per se, I'm not necessarily going to drop him somewhere where everybody knows who he is. It makes me feel really anxious that when I'm not there, people are doing things and like acting too excited. And you know what I'm saying? So you want to put them in a school that doesn't necessarily move them from, you know, normal life, but it doesn't, you don't want them to just be in a public place. Like, Is that give us the ick in the very beginning. Like the guys that they just, there's something about them. You don't know why you're saying no, but you're just saying no. You don't know what is wrong with this boy, but you just, there's something wrong. And every time they try to, you know, romance you, they try to, oh, I love this girl. And they're telling everybody around, you know, them guys that be telling, oh, I love Grace, you know, I love Grace, you know, be weary. Don't give them a chance. Don't give the guy that you're managing a chance. Don't don't look at a guy and be like, oh, he's not even really my type. Don't give him a chance. Don't try it. Because it's the audacity it's for me. Do you know how long Safari was begging for Erica? Do you know how long he begged for Erica? And then look at the way you rubbish are in the public. It's bad. Look at the way he, pub- he publicly disgraced the babe, that beautiful girl. He disgraced her. Erica has her own, you know, she's mad. She's crazy. But, damn. Look at the way he disgraced her. She was letting her emotions now come out. She's like, oh, you know, the babies are everything you did, that everything you did, it hurts me and blah, 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 blah. I was even thinking, shit, why did you say anything? I didn't even want you to say anything. The way he looked at her like she was a like a cardboard box, like a brick, like a, like a stone. It's, for me... When a situation is completely, is going down the drain, like you guys know that the love that you guys have shared has, has become, 
has has now gotten to a place where that you're now disgusting each other. You need to just let it go. Stop trying. Don't bother to try again. Don't bother. Because then you leave a situation and then both of you, you ate each other to the bones. You ate each other to the bones. Like, <laughs> that's what's happening in that situation. The way Safari looked at Erica, like she was a bin bag. Like she's a dirty bag. A beast. A dog. Like he has no... He's got nothing. To, he's got nothing. He's got nothing for her. Absolutely nothing. She's done so much. He's done so much. They've said so much. Different things have been said. He's been driven to the bins. They have called each other all types of name. He's gone to. He's done everything. Everything is now resentment. Everything is now. I eat you. I eat you. How dare? How did I even find you? You disgust me. Don't get to that point, especially when you got kids. If you feel like you guys ain't working out and it's like, we've tried, we've tried a couple times now. You see, we can sit down and have this amicable type of conversation. Let's just go and let it be done. Don't say, I'm on a Friday night. Hi, babes. I'm going to have sex with you. Come, 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 are you coming over? Stop doing that. Stop calling him for a cheeky weekend. Just stop it. If it's not working, just separate and then co-parent as, as well as you lot know how to. Don't start trying to get together and, and start sexing on the weekend. It's terrible. It's terrible. Because you're going to get to a situation where you despise each other. And that's what's happened with this Erica Mena situation and Safari. So, mm, my answer to that is the money is too small. The money is too small. I need more than 5K. Start from 5K. For me, start from 5K. Then I'll feel like, okay, this money can do something. Because I feel like, I even feel like a man should cover the school fees. Like, why, why is a mom covering the school fees for that? Like, I don't know. Like, I just, I know guys will be like, Grace, you're just, but I just don't see why I, a mother should be covering that. Like, you should be covering your son's school fees. That's what men do. Like, it's really odd that you would expect the mother to pay for that. I don't know. I don't know what situation they've got going on. Me, I already look at myself like man and woman anyway. So, I pay for my son, everything for my son. I don't get any help, right? Like I said, my mom is my other the other carer. She goes over there once in a while. You go over there. But I'm the one that clothes, dress, buy clothes rents, everything. I do it alone. I do everything alone and I don't feel any type of way. I've never felt any type of way. I've actually never felt any type of way. I've never felt like I need to go on. But like, if I had a baby father like Safari, I would have gone, I'll go back to course because I feel like I can get 10k from there. <laughs> Someone said like, have I ever experienced a paranormal, um, a paranormal experience and you know what to end this i think i'm gonna tell you guys something that happened to me oh god i can't believe i'm even saying the story okay so i'd say a couple of years ago yeah when i used to travel a lot to america i went to a place called charlotte right and i was seeing someone around this area at the time and we had a fight so I had done a job within the area. Like I used to go to like schools and universities like, and help them with their black, what is it like? Kind of like their black days, their black events or whatever. So that's how we had a disargument. And I was like, I'm not coming back to the house because he basically left. He used to, oh my God. I used to go there and he'd leave me there and like not, not turn up. I'll just be in his apartment by myself, like alone. So I came down this one time and he wasn't there. So, um, but mind you, the good thing, like I said, this is why I always say that the American boy, they will give you some money. I used to go downstairs and they used to leave money on the table for me. And then I will go out shopping and things like that. But this time I had done a job. So I didn't, I was like, I don't need your fucking money, whatever. I'm not talking to you. You're a bitch. I'm going home soon. This nipple sucking thing I actually spoke about today. <laughs> This nipple sucking thing has really pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. Do you know why that shit's pissing me off? Because where is the masculine energy? 
That's all I'm saying. Imagine the guy's like really big and bulky as well. And you're just there sucking his breast. <laughs> I'm hearing it like I'm still waiting on my billionaire to get me someone that's gonna spoil me you know it's my birthday coming up you know I want I want mad presents I want to be gonna be loved I want to be held you get me if you're the guy if you're the guy if you're the guy if you're the guy <laughs> holla at your baby girl <laughs>